A new law just signed by the governor aims to bring more affordable housing to the city, not by building it, instead converting it from certain underused spaces. News 12's Amanda Bossard is on Bruckner Boulevard with those details. Amanda. Yeah, Christy, supporters call this landmark legislation that makes it easier for Class B hotels like this one to turn their empty rooms into units of affordable permanent housing. The goal here is to provide a path out of homelessness and away from evictions and overall ease the housing crisis in this city. Here's the governor and the mayor while signing that bill into law earlier today. And no longer will these rooms sit vacant, you know, mocking as people sleep on a street in front of them or struggle to find a home, no longer. Supportive housing is the answer to this issue and this is going to allow us to do so. And it's going to help us unlock 200 million in funds that we have been eager to utilize and spend the right way. It is a move housing advocates say gets rid of antiquated regulations, allowing rooms in class B hotels with high vacancy rates in or near residential areas to become affordable apartments. We're talking about smaller hotels, lodging, boarding or rooming houses. The plan met with mixed opinions by New Yorkers that we spoke with. It's a step in the right direction. It's a step in the right direction. I, I still want to see the change though. I really don't think it's a good idea because we don't know about the safety of these hotels. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard. I'm looking for an apartment for a long time. I want to get a low ink where I can get it. Here in the Bronx, the city has identified 170 of these Class B hotels. Citywide, there are about 2,500. We're in Castle Hill tonight. I'm Amanda Bossard, News 12.